I can be fun. We no, we no, we no. I can be fun. We no, we no, we no. I just can't touch this, hey. Bitch, I be rich, shit, huh? I just can't touch this, hey. Walk the limp, limp, huh? I'm gonna be ding, 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 ding. What's up, what's up, YouTube? It's your girl, TM. That's niche, not the one, but the too much. Hey, yeah, girl, it's the back with another Bosses Bootcamp series, episode five. You already know the vibes. If you're new to my channel, hey, boy, I'm TM. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Join the Too Much Gang, because baby, if you're not Too Much Gang, not enough gang. That's just that one. That, okay, period. Part. It's not that part. If you're a return subscriber, gang, gang, send your crown, don't retreat. Already know the vibes. Already know the vibes. So, if you guys read the title of this video, oh my god, I'm going to be explaining how to become a successful YouTuber because your girl woke up and had 20k. Like, what? Who am I? Like, who am I? Who am I? Because 20k, girl, boom. Anyways, anyways, um, so yeah, I was going to do a completely different video today, but when I woke up this morning and I seen I had 20k, like, y'all, this is, like, beyond anything that I've imagined for my YouTube channel, like, I'm just, like, it's, like, starting to feel so real, because, like, when I plan to do something or I put my mind to something, I actually start it, I'm consistent with it, I'm, like, I'm, like, already at the top, I'm, like, 100k niche, 100k my plaque, plaque niche, niche the plaque, like niche TMTV on a plaque, like oh my god, I can't believe I'm literally 80k away from 100k, and I know that may seem like a lot, but just the way um, I monitor my channel and look at my analytics and things like that, it's like going up every day. I literally had just tweeted like two or three days ago, like oh I'm like 130 subscribers away from 20k, and two days later like. I mean, like, I had I got 130 subscribers in two days. Like, bro, it's blowing me. It's blowing me. So to show my appreciation to y'all, I just gotta give y'all the tea on how to get on YouTube and really just bully your way in here. Because listen, it's two type of people in this world: people who wait for things to happen and people who make things happen. YouTube was something I made happen. I've never made a youtube video or anything like that i just literally used what i knew and opened my mind to learning more and here we are today 20,000 subscribers deep so if you're not subscribed like you don't even have the joy of feeling like what me and my subscribers feel or what we've been through because like if you've been watching my videos like from beginning to now you already know like it's been a roller coaster for us i went missing and action and everything and y'all love me like <sighs> I'm not gonna get emotional I'm not gonna be the girl that cries on YouTube okay so um I have my notes here for y'all because I want to make sure like I give y'all some really really good advice if you are planning or if you want to start a YouTube video so um let me just hop right into it so I'm gonna start with how I got into YouTube now my brother Zay make sure y'all subscribe to his channel I'm gonna link it down in the description box he was already on YouTube and getting paid from YouTube my brother is 19 now um back then he was like 14 when he started getting paid and we used to just think he was weird because he used to be like can I use your account to link to my YouTube and I used to be like uh I don't know what kind of weirdo mess you got going on but uh no and we just didn't understand him and I like I apologize to him all the time because I'm like man like you was on to something back then like we should have listened to you so um, about two years ago, a year and a half ago now, um, I was like in a really, really bad space and, um, I was living with my mom and I have no job. I was broke. I was sad and I don't know. I just needed like a, like a cleanse. So I did like a social media detox. I deleted my social media for about six months and, um, I was gone. I didn't care about my followers going away. I didn't care about my pages being deleted. I was just like, I, I just can't live like on the internet anymore. Um, and in the midst of that, you know, through my depression and stuff, like my brother's like, Nisha, like, why don't you start a YouTube? Like, you're so pretty. Like people are going to subscribe to you off the strength of that. Then he came up with this little plan. Like, yeah, once you get on there, you can just link with one of them little famous YouTube dudes. And then you just going to blow up and boom, it's going to be that we going to be rich. And that's literally the, how the conversation went. So, um, I was like, all right, all right, let me, let me, let me look into it. So the very first thing I did and the very first thing I suggest you do is do your research on YouTube. Um, I know that sounds like cliche or whatever, but I don't 
to get into things that I don't know the ins and outs of it. So when I did my research on YouTube, I wanted to know like what the taxes was like once I started getting paid, um, you know, what the requirements were, algorithms, like because everything on the internet has an algorithm for how people see your stuff. So I didn't do like a research for like one month, two months. I did my research the whole six months, like whole six months and that research consists of like figuring out how to do thumbnails and editing and um titles and descriptions and stuff like that like though like when you get into this it's not just a matter of you recording a video and then posting it it's like so much more on the back end that goes into it hashtags the cards in the corner which i don't really do because i put my series in the description box um and i just be ready to upload but like there's so many different like features and tactics to youtube i just wanted to know what i was getting myself into because if it was going to feel like work work i could have go to work work you know what i'm saying versus you know trying to do all this little techie stuff so um once i did my research um i started editing videos like i started recording stupid like y'all when i say i started recording stupid ass videos i literally made a video of myself chewing a piece of gum but i was like recording myself and i'm like okay this is this is trident gum <laughs> and i was like this is how you properly unwrap it and I, I was literally, y'all, I wish I could find a video. I was literally unwrapping the gum. And then I was like, um, and this is how you chew it. Yeah, it was the stupidest video ever, but the purpose of the video was for me to learn how to edit. I wanted to know how to put in the effects, where I could find the effects, how to make a um intro. I made the before I had this intro, the one that I paid for, um I had made my own intro and I loved it. So, I mean, it, it wasn't too bad like so if you need the extra, you can hit me up. No, I just went, but so yeah, like I literally was trying to figure out like if this was for me if I was smart enough to catch on to how to edit and how to you know make thumbnails and stuff like that like it took the whole six months for me to fully be like all right I, I got a plan I got a plan so right after I um started editing and stuff like that I officially did my first video um, and it was not even like a real video it was just like a preview of of what my channel was going to be about which is completely it's kind of on point but it's kind of different if you haven't seen that video I'll link it down below so you can go check it out it's like one minute long but I have posted like this little snippet of like all my latest snapchats like of me getting drunk me twerking me doing business photo shoots and stuff like that and I was just like this is what my, my channel is going to be it's going to be like about a boss a lit entrepreneur finding her way in the world and like I feel like I've been fulfilling that role kind of not as lit because I don't the people that I made those snapchat and videos with I'm not friends with them anymore so it's just like I'm more so in the house like homebody then my sister was pregnant and I don't know, it was just a whole bunch of this like boringness going on but for the most part I have fulfilled, fulfilled what is in that first video so once I posted my preview I posted it everywhere every where somebody viewed my stuff i posted i posted on snapchat i posted on instagram i posted on facebook i posted it everywhere where anybody could see me twitter whatever and i was like y'all your girls finally starting a youtube channel y'all need to subscribe ah, ah, ah. and that's just that on that now y'all know how it is with y'all um people that y'all know that not want to support y'all and stuff like that so like when i first posted i probably got like 30 subscribers yet i was getting like a thousand views on my story like i'm like so wait why are y'all like y'all really don't even fuck with me like that like y'all not even subscribers to my channel like literally on facebook i was getting like 1500 views on my story and people used to say like oh i watched her story on accident like girl no you didn't because you watched every single one of them so i mean one oh i you you can get away with that but the whole thing no so the fact that people weren't subscribing to my channel and i'm like y'all know me and y'all still not going to subscribe to my channel and mind you at this time like people will still ask me like business questions and stuff like that so i'm just like all right bet I don't need y'all i'm gonna find my own subscribers so i don't know if y'all know this app called monkey oh my god this is so embarrassing but this is what got me to where i'm at so i used to get on monkey and i used to get my i used to listen 
I used to make my friends get on there with me, my sisters and my friend. And I used to do my makeup, I used to do my hair, and I used to put in my good little ring light, have my lighting set up. And I would just get on there acting real cute, like, hey y'all. And they would be like, oh my god, are you famous? Are you famous? I'm like, no, but I do have a YouTube channel, I'm a YouTuber. They'd be like, oh my god, you're a YouTuber? Are you a famous YouTuber? And I'd just be like, not yet. And so I would give them my channel and I would literally make people subscribe to me they probably don't even watch my my videos but some of them probably do because there was one girl who commented she was like wow i seen you at 700 like when you had 700 subscribers and i'm at 20k but yeah like y'all y'all have to put yourself out there like if you don't have the personality for youtube depending on what kind of content you're doing um you literally have to like break out of your shell like there's no way people are going to be able to relate to you or even going to like your videos if you're boring like I don't know like I've watched people's YouTube channels and they'll be like it'll be they'll be pretty or um like have nice style but they don't have no substance about themselves so that makes their videos boring or you could tell like they're trying to do too much in the video so I mean it's all about content and being yourself you have to put yourself out there I'm the type of person well I want something done or I need something done or I'm trying to be at a certain place if I'm trying to be at a certain place at a certain time I'm going to get on. I'm going to do what I need to do. And I'm, I kid y'all now. I got on Monkey every single day. I got on there every single day. And I was like, hey, I'm going to it. The niggas used to eat it up. Oh, my God. The nigga, bro. If you're a female, get on. I don't even know if Monkey is on the market anymore. The Apple store, I don't even know if it's on there anymore. But them niggas was eating it up. They was like, oh, yeah. I'm gonna, maybe I'm going to subscribe to your channel. Like, what's it going to be about? Makeup and all that. I used to be like, no, I'm not doing makeup on there. I'm I'm talking about making money. And they used to be like, oh, I love that. I love how you spell it. And I used to get, bro, I used to have so many conversations with so many different people. And it was interesting, though, because I actually liked a lot of the people that I talked to. It was a couple weirdos in there, of course. Like, they all weird. But... It was, it was some really, really, really lit people who, like, just, like, were speaking positive, like, over me, over my YouTube. And to see that it come as far, it's just, like, I have to share, like, what I did, which, what I did to get here with y'all. So, um, that wasn't the only promotion I did, y'all. I was going to the extreme. I had to make sure I was going to be a popular influencer on YouTube. So, um, on Facebook, there are YouTube groups, and I was in the, like, the black YouTuber groups. And so, people in there, they would help you, like, it, they would do, like, sub for sub. So, you subscribe to your, you subscribe to their channel, and then they subscribe to yours. So, you can get up to your, uh, 1k subscriber requirement and i don't think that really helped me a whole lot but it did give me a lot of exposure and it did get me um out there meeting different youtubers like all over the world so i would just encourage everybody i'm like y'all need to post like we all need to post like we all need to you know support each other you know these um youtubers that are really really big make it very very hard to get in that small community um just because like they're so so popular but you know what i'm niche tm like niche the mover niche the bully so i I just like bullied my way into YouTube to be honest like nobody knew about me before on YouTube but then I just pop out boop, boop, and here I am 20k later um so yeah make sure you're promoting yourself everywhere like hey I don't care if you post it 10 times a day people gonna get people should be irritated with how much you post your YouTube and I also want to point out don't look at your views when you first start like you gotta think about it. If you're only getting like 100 to 300 views like on in your regular life, expect to get half of that on your YouTube because a lot of people, excuse me, hate to see other people doing well. Especially knowing that YouTube ad will eventually add to your bag. Um, they definitely not gonna want to do that. And it's crazy because I know a lot of people who do, who who know me personally that they not subscribe to my channel. And I just be and they don't watch my videos. And I I just be like, like I really can't fuck with you like that because why is you, you know, whoop de woo like? So, yeah, just promote everywhere. Promote, promote, promote. Do your research. Um, another thing I want to talk about is YouTube's algorithm. So, everything on the internet has an algorithm, which is like how how the internet determines who sees your stuff. So, um, if you're not like 
if you're not posting certain things or you're not hitting certain numbers, your stuff won't show up as much. Now, to help with that, like I said before, you need to look at your titles, your thumbnails, your description, your description box, um, your hashtags, because YouTube does have hashtags. I don't know if anybody ever has ever mentioned that that YouTube has hashtags. They do. Um, and then like trying to match yourself up with whose video you want yours to come up with. So when I first started um learning about lip gloss when I wanted to do a lip gloss you know series on my YouTube I watched Bougie Bar, Mocha P and Made by RJ. So I mimicked, did not copy, mimicked titles from their videos and their descriptions to get more um views or more clicks on my page. And the thing about it is even though it's the same kind of content, it's different information in the videos. You see what I'm saying? So, when they click on my videos from their videos, it starts to um, recommend the video or it starts to get featured. Like, if somebody watches um, Ari's video and my, my video most likely will pop down below hers now because my videos are similar to hers they're they're always going to match who's similar so you just want to make sure like you're falling in line with um your like the content that you want to create now once you start you know building your name up and stuff i'm going to start putting my name at the end of my uh titles because that also builds up how people discover you now youtube has a youtube studios where you can literally look and see like how people are finding you like certain words they're typing in uh certain videos that are coming up Literally, it's like the perfect breakdown. So, like words that people use to type in uh, and find my videos. If y'all scroll to my description box, it's a list like this long of just words or or like little phrases because those are the things people type in to find my videos or where my videos will pop up at. So I want to make sure like all my videos are consistent with the same kind of description box because that's how people are finding me and that's how people are going to find you. So. Moving on to my like official, official first video. So y'all, I did a vlog because like I said, I do want to be a vlogger. That was like my original thing. I wanted to vlog Um, because at the time I thought I was interesting, but really like I'm not that interesting. I mean, I'm interesting, but it's not that interesting. But um, so yeah, I did my first vlog and it was so nerve wracking. Um, I Like I said, I was vlogging. I didn't have a camera at the time. I was recording on my phone. Don't let anybody tell you like you need a camera, you need lying and all that. You don't need none of that. You need your phone and you need a smile and confidence. That's all you need to start YouTube. So I did my first vlog in the mall. Like who did I think I was? Like I just walked in the mall. I had, my, I had me, I went to Five Below. I got me a little phone tripod and I was just out there like, what's up and no I just well, I wasn't that loud but I was just like hey guys and I was just so quiet and like trying to be so soft spoken and I was just like looking back at my videos after I post I'm like oh my god like why do I sound like that like I hate like my first three videos like that I ever posted because it's just like made me cringe because it's like girl you is not quiet you just don't like oh my god like that is not my personality at all but I just feel like I had to come on YouTube like a little subtle before I just gave y'all like the full effect you feel what i'm saying like i couldn't just come full effect i had to like ease y'all into that you know what i'm saying so that's how uh that kind of worked out and um once i did my first video um i got my uh, i got decent feedback like you know just still learning like how the youtube studio works and what actually to look for it wasn't until my impediment video so y'all my impediment video was the first video that put me like on edge so i was just like um I knew a pediment was a popular topic. I had taken a pediment and I was like, you know what? I think that would be a good video. I watched videos on a pediment. Um, so let me just go ahead and, you know, share the site where I bought it from and all this and that. And the video ended up doing so well, y'all. I recorded it so many times. I was living in an Airbnb at the time. I had just bought this like marble thing, like this marble backdrop from Amazon. And I just put it up on the wall. That way I was like thinking like, okay, when I switch Airbnbs, they won't know because I can just put this marble thing back up and y'all get what I'm saying like I'm trying to be smart I'm trying to be smart so I just put the marble thing up and I just sat there and I recorded it first of all I was scared because I was living in a house with like a, a man and his son so like I really didn't want to speak loud because it was late and I didn't want them to know I was up for real I mean nothing happens to me over there but you know how it is like when you stand with men and you don't know them like I don't know y'all so yeah that's the point anyway so yeah I put that backdrop up I recorded that video I edited it and I posted it and I think that was the first video like when it hit 1k I was like <gasps> 
oh my god i'm famous no just like, but i was excited i'm like oh my god my video hit 1k what the it was like my third or fourth video i'm like oh my god oh my god i hit 1k i hit 1k um and at that time i probably had like 300 subs by then but still as i'm posting videos like i'm going i'm still going on monkey i'm still posting in you know the groups that i was in like i was still promoting my youtube every single day like i didn't care i didn't care because look where i'm at now like i didn't care so I was like, oh my God, my video hit 1K. And then I was like, oh, I gotta keep going. Like, I gotta keep this momentum. Um, but it was kind of harder for me because I'm, I was moving house to house. I was living in Airbnbs. So it was hard for me to like do content. But fast forward to October. I recorded, um, I went to my mom's house and I recorded a video that y'all, it took me for fucking ever to record that video i did first of all i was irritated i didn't want to do it after the third take it was hot and i'm just like i'm over this like my hair wasn't done my nails wasn't broke and i'm just like bro like this is not the kind of you like y'all i was having a mental breakdown i'm like this is not the kind of youtuber i want to be like i want to be bomb as fuck i want my hair done my nails on my makeup on point like i just want everything just aligned but in real life like that's not how i live like i have broke nails and I wear my bonnet a lot like you have to wear your bonnet to keep your wigs like last longer like that that's me so after like my third take I just like did like a little hoosa and I was just like you know what I'm just about to let them know like you either gonna fuck with me for me or you're not like it's just as simple as that there's people out there who are gonna love this content and how transparent I am and just how you could just tell if you go back to the video like it's authentic as hell like I was just so me bro like I was just so me and I'm just like I'm I, and I literally said in the video like this is what my hands look like when I'm packaging like they're my nails aren't always all on or cute and you know I, I take my wig off sometimes like I was just 100% me and the fact that I didn't want to do the video and I was just so upset about my presence on the video that video ended up getting like 90k and that video didn't shoot up until like january by january i had already had a thousand subscribers i had already um met my watch hours from that video it hadn't even hit 90k yet i think in january it hit like 70 60 somewhere around there and i was like my my subscribers was going up and up and up and up and i was just like i can't believe it like i couldn't believe it so my whole purpose of telling y'all this is that when you come on this platform first of all make sure it's exactly what you want to do and second of all make sure you're being yourself like people come on here and they try to reinvent themselves and then stuff be happening and they you have this image of a person and then they do something outside of that image and then you're just like oh my god i can't believe they did that and it's like that's been them the whole time you know what i'm saying so when i came on youtube after that video i decided that Anything that I do in real life, you're going to see it on YouTube if I choose to put it on there. You know what I'm saying? Or if you don't see it on YouTube, you'll see it on my live. Or You know what I'm saying? Like I don't want there to be any secrets about me to where it could come back and people be like, oh my god, I can't believe. Like You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's out. Like I Just come on here. Just be yourself. People are going to fuck with you for you. And if they don't, then they're not real subscribers. Like, they're not real supporters. I like the real support. I like the people that be like, hey, like, I just got a comment last long ago. She was like, hey, I usually don't watch our videos to the end because I cuss a lot, which I really do. So, I mean, I'm, I'm going to try and cut it down, but probably not a lot because that's just how I express myself. But she was like, you know, I don't usually watch your videos to the end because of the language, but, like, I was all here for this video. And I appreciated her feedback because even though she wasn't watching my videos to the end because I cussed a lot she still supports me and respects me for how I express myself like that's just me like I don't mean no harm to anybody like when I say what the fuck or all that like that's just me like the first thing that comes to my mind because like if it was real life and something happened and the camera wasn't on I'm still gonna say what the fuck like <laughs> I hope that makes sense so make sure when you come on here you make sure you're yourself don't try to reinvent yourself because that's only gonna hurt you on the back end when somebody pulls up something about you when you hit a mark and then everything comes crashing down hence be Simone okay we, we don't want none of that going on over here so 
that's that oh another thing is you want to engage with your people once your channel starts getting um traction and people my camera cut off but anyway once people start coming to your page and commenting and view and like viewing your videos and liking your videos make sure you're engaging with those people make sure you're liking their comments make sure you're commenting back to them telling them thank you for subscribing to your channel or thank you for watching your video because without them you're going to be nobody and you want to keep you want to make people matter like anybody that comments on my video if it's unless it's negative i really like to respond or tell y'all that i love y'all or that you know i appreciate y'all for watching my videos like anything i can do for you like that's just me because i wouldn't be here 20,000 subscribers deep without the people that watch me understand so make sure you show gratitude i don't like when people blow up and then they get this like celebrity status about them and my thing is like i don't condone this but people wonder why like regular and i use this word very loosely regular people stalk them and it's only because you create this image of yourself that you're untouchable i'm not saying it's right to stalk a celebrity but what i'm saying is you see celebrities engage more in negativity than they do in the pe the people that love them. The people like like Cardi B, write me back on Instagram. Like I love you. I wouldn't stalk her, but there are people who who literally will spend their whole lives stalking you because you seem so un like unreachable. Like people love you, they want to relate to you. So just make sure you're not like once you get like you know to a certain level, you're not because. Your views can go down, people can unsubscribe, and then your check goes down. You know what I'm saying? So, we want to keep the bag up, okay? We want to keep our people happy. So, make sure you just, like I said, be yourself. Stay grounded, stay level. If anybody, I've never met a subscriber in person yet. Oh, my God. I'm probably going to cry if I do. But, like, I've never met, well, besides people, like, in my family. But they don't see me how other people see me so um i've never met a subscriber in person but i can't wait because it is coming soon and i'm just excited like genuinely like my heart like i can see myself crying and stuff like that because i just never expected to be like here and i mean i did but like just like actually being in a moment is completely different from planning it like you get a whole different sensation like it's like having deja vu kind of so like when I meet my first subscriber like I'm probably gonna cry and like it's just like an emotional thing because it's just like I'm just like you like I'm just like y'all I'm not no really different besides probably louder and more ghetto like that's it but I just really want to say I appreciate like everybody who subscribed whether you watch the videos or not thank you so much I can't believe like I'm 20 20,000 it's just so crazy I keep saying it because I just can't believe it like And, you know, I want to thank God as well because, you know, success is not success without God. So, I heard that saying earlier and I just had to repeat it because it's so, so, so true. There's just something so fulfilling knowing that I'm doing the work that God put me here to do. But also that work transitions to me inspiring people to better their situation, whatever that situation may be. It is completely like just i am forever grateful for that like i there's nothing else in this world that i would rather do okay and, I, and that's just that on that like i can't imagine myself not doing youtube um so yeah nothing is of course the most vague thing to say about being a youtuber you have to be consistent now I know you hate to hear it, but consistency is definitely key on YouTube. Now, I'm going to put y'all on some TT. When popular YouTubers, like right now, how De'Aaron and Ken is not doing Vlogmas, this is a perfect opportunity for newer YouTubers to slide in and get subscribers. People need stuff to watch right now. So you need to be posting, okay? Well, after you do your research and everything else I said. You need to be posting. When, when popular, popular YouTubers are not posting, that's the opportunity for you to take their subscribers or share them. You know what I'm saying? So, right now, like, people who are doing Vlogmas are getting way more views because Gary and Ken, they usually get like 500k videos. So, those 500k people need something to watch and hopefully they click
click my videos because I can use 500k views you know what I'm saying but you just need to look for every single opportunity that there is on this platform but you have to be consistent with it you can't just post and then have one video do well and then wait three months to post another video literally you should really be posting at least three to four videos a week that that's the real algorithm I'm not sure if it's changed since when I started getting paid from YouTube but you need to be posting like three to four times a week so you should be having like what's four times four 16 videos like at max a month so that's just tea like nobody's gonna tell you but you're supposed to post that much a week so if you're not that interesting to post three or four videos a week I don't know what to tell you like find something interesting look at the trends what's trending what are people doing can you afford to do it set a trend you know what I'm saying? Set a trend. I'm doing Boston's boot camp. Set a trend. Do something that reflects you on your channel. People will eventually find out about you and then they'll love you and then they'll be subscribed to your channel and then eventually it'll become another source of income and then you'll love it and you'll love the people. Like more people have supported me on YouTube than in my real life. That's T. That's T. Okay, y'all, so I know this is the part y'all been waiting on, the requirements, how much that check was, how much that bag was. Y'all know, see what I'm gonna let y'all be know, see what y'all be know, see what y'all be know, see what y'all be know, um, so I just want to put a disclaimer out there. I don't know if the YouTube requirements have changed since last year when I started getting paid, but when I started getting paid from YouTube, I had to have a thousand subscribers, so 1,000 1k subscribers. I had to have uh, 4,000 watch hours, which when I calculated the views I had and the watch hours, it was around like 80, 70, 80,000 views before I started getting paid. Now, don't be scared and don't be like, oh, that's gonna take me forever. Um, because it really depends on how long people are watching your videos. So you could get monetized quicker if people are watching your videos all the way through. And like I said, YouTube Studio explains all like the um, average duration, like people watch your videos. So um, a person, like if I get half, like one person and a half to watch, my video and you get two full like two people to watch your videos full you'll have more watch hours than me because they're watching your videos longer you get what i'm saying so youtube likes to see like how interesting your content is now um after i had thousand subscribers and uh the four thousand watch hours i had to um submit my application to um the youtube monetization program now um youtube will let you know in the youtube studios on the computer version if you're eligible to um, apply for um, Google AdSense. Now, YouTube is owned by Google. I don't know if a lot of people know this. YouTube is owned by Google. So we don't get paid from YouTube, so to speak. We get paid from Google AdSense. Now, when you set up your Google, Ad Google AdSense account, first of all, you do have to pay taxes again. Every video, I think I say this, the IRS is our pimp, so they get a piece of every damn thing that we do. So, with anything that you do, even if like you're a, you're a home stylist or something like that, after you make $600 from that source of income or whatever, you have to file taxes on that. So, that's like a rule. So, um, once you make $600 on YouTube, um, you do have to do like, like even before, like you, when you get approved for the program, they literally make you fill out tax information. So once you hit $600, best believe you're going to get a W-2 from Google AdSense. But yeah, so um, like I said, YouTube will let you know in your uh, dashboard on the computer version when you're eligible to apply. Now, when I did it, I applied like right after I made my channel, but it was just saying like under review or whatever because I had just literally started. So don't submit an application until I would say like until you get the... Um, the 1,000 subscribers at least. And then YouTube Studio also tells you how many watch hours you have. Now, 4,000 watch hours is not a lot. If you're posting consistently, if your content is good, um, like if you're just like vibrant and, you know, just pe like make people want to like you and subscribe to your channel. Like, you know what? I like what she did there. Like, let me subscribe to her, see what else she got going on. Like, if you're like that kind of person, it's not going to be hard to get 4,000 watch hours. I did it in six months. So I know people who have had YouTube channels longer than me and they're still not monetized, but... Like I said, I've given all the tips I can give on it, on content and what to look like, what to do and all that. So you guys can take that and run with it. But I got monetized in six months, which to me seemed like a long time. Like I feel like I should have got monetized in like 
two or three but six months later um i was monetized which was like an amazing feeling um they told me like i was eligible and then i actually tweeted them and i was like at youtube hey y'all so i hit my 1k subscribers and i just got 4,000 watch hours what's up with the reviews so literally like days after this is january uh 2020 i got monetized and i was like excited like I was so ecstatic like literally like I don't know if the requirements have changed and to be honest I feel like they will because so many people are becoming creators on YouTube that it wasn't even that hard before like my my brother got monetized years ago he was like you didn't have to do all that like they, it wasn't even like that before but that's because more people know that you can make money from youtube or google adsense and they're like oh, i gotta hop on that i can just record a video and make money like and mind you when you post a video on youtube you can pay for that video forever for the rest of your life like five years later if somebody watched how to start a lash company i gotta get that check i gotta get that check okay and your money does roll over you get paid once a month from youtube um i get paid on like the 22nd or 23rd of every month from youtube and literally the money just rolls over like the more people watch like the more the um revenue builds up for the video so you get paid per video now uh, the ads in the video are how you get paid. If people click the ads, if people watch the ads without skipping them, you get more money. Like, but you're gonna get money regardless for having the ad in your video. But you'll get more. Like your C, uh, I think it's called CPM, um, will raise if people like click the ads and they watch them all the way through and stuff like that. Um, so watch my ads, click my ads, even if it's on accident, just do it. But yeah, so. That's just like a little tea for y'all to know um, about the Google AdSense. Now, you can get direct deposit or check. You know your girl get that's direct. I need that direct, okay? I need my deposit if you want to be accepted. Like, it got to be directed. Yes. So, um, I have my bank set up. Um, the YouTube check just go right in there. Sometimes I literally forget, like, I get paid from YouTube. Like, that's how where my mind be. I'm like, oh. I got paid from YouTube or like they'll send you an email like hey your statement is ready to be viewed but YouTube Studios does give you like an estimate of how much you've made for the month so I mean it's not like you don't know what to expect but I'll be forgetting literally like what like that I'm getting paid because I'll be like oh I got my email I get paid oh I got a couple extra I got a couple extra extra okay like it comes in so handy especially since I have so many um sources of income that when YouTube hits I'm just like Oh my god. And I just thought I'd just spend all that money. It came right back. Look at God. Look at God. Okay. So yeah, um, now which y'all all been waiting for. Y'all so nosy. Oh, y'all so nosy, but it's cool, it's cool. I want to I watched these kind of videos too. Cause I was like, how much was your first check? Like you ever start a job and see people working there and you just be like, hey, how much was your first check? Like, I know y'all wanna know. So First of all, I gotta say, your check is going to vary. Like, you could, your first check could be more than mine, it could be less than mine. It really just depends on how many views you're getting, how many ads you're putting in your video, if they're watching it all the way through, if they're not skipping it, if they're clicking the, the ad, you know, that all factors in. But, your girl's first check, my first check was like $362. And I'll probably insert a screenshot over here. Um, but it was just like, it was a beautiful moment. And I was just so excited. Excited. I'm like, oh, oh. So, um, my first YouTube check, that's the lowest I ever got paid. Like, ever since I started getting paid, that was the lowest. Like, I've, that was the lowest. Just know, the YouTube bag is good. The YouTube bag is very, very good for me, okay? Um, especially since I'm almost at a million views. Now, once I hit a million views, I want to see what the algorithms, algorithm is going to be like for me as far as my pay going up. Because my CPM started so low. Like, I'm like, how am I going to live if I'm trying to live off YouTube? Like, my CPM was so low. I think it was like 20 cent, 10 cent per app. I'm like, what? How am I going to live? How am I going to live? 
um but it's gone up since then just because of you know the consistency you know the number of views the subscribers and all that um but really all you need is a thousand to start getting paid like don't let nobody think make you think like you're less of a youtuber because you um you don't have a lot of subscribers once you hit a thousand it don't matter after that after that's just like ego and pride and just like milestones stuff like that but it takes a thousand as of right now from my experience it takes a thousand so yeah that was my first check i don't even remember what i spent it on like i was just so happy i'm like <gasps> 300 a occasion like oh my god like they really just paid me like they just paid me for my videos so um yeah youtube has been good to me um i'm hoping that i can continue to thrive on here provide good content be a good creator and just like be super super innovative on here a lot of people be like they sleep on you girl like they sleep right now because it's just like i'm a dream come true make one hit snow okay like per but um yeah if you guys have any other questions about starting youtube or anything uh that i mentioned or didn't mention in this video just leave a comment down below i'm so excited thank you guys so much again for 20k is lit it lit it's lit i can't wait to see how much more we grow and expand this family this gang right on our vibes and i will see you guys in day oh we done with